I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find the quadratic function given its x-intercept. The question here is determine the equation of the parabola with x-intercepts at minus 4 and 3 and pass through the point 2, 7. Now whenever x-intercepts are given which form of the equation should you use? That is always the first question, right? So since x-intercepts are given, let me write it down. It's very important. x-intercepts are given, right? So that means we should use which form? Factored form. That is the best to use in such circumstances. Factored form you can write as y equals to a times x minus x1 times x minus x2 where x1 and x2 are x-intercepts, correct? Now in our case, x1 is equals to minus 4 and x2 is equals to 3, correct? So we'll substitute those values. We have y equals to a times x minus minus 4. Let me write minus 4 x minus 3. So that is what we get. So we get y equals to a times x plus 4 times x minus 3. Now to find the value of a, we will use the point given to us. If we don't use it, it's the family of the parabolas which is going through these x-intercepts. But we are not talking about specific one which goes through the point 2, 7. So now we are given a point which is 2, 7, where x value is 2, y value is 7. That helps to find the value of a. So we'll write 7 for y, 2 for x, 2 plus 4 times 2 minus 3. 7 equals 2, a times 6, and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So from here we get a as equals to 7 divided by minus 6, correct? So that is how you get the value of a. Once you get the value of a, you can substitute it back into your equation, which is right there. This is the equation which you are working on. So now we know a is equals to minus 7 over 6, and the equation is y equals to a times x plus 4 times x minus 3. So substituting the value of a, we get our answer which is y equals to minus 7 over 6 x minus 4 times x minus 3. So that is how we can write the equation in the factored form. Well at times you may find that this question is extended and they may expect you to write the equation in standard form. Then you have to expand it and then simplify. I hope that works. Thank you and all the best.